Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you for another night of prayer. Jesus, we say thank you for another night of prayer. Jesus, we honor you. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name forever and ever. Blessed be your name for what you're doing in this prayer meeting. We say thank you for the lives you have touched. We say thank you for the souls you have transformed. We say thank you for the Matthew chapter 16 prayer series. The delivery of keys. The delivery of keys. Jesus, we say thank you for the meetings we've had already. For the one we're going to have tonight. And the remaining two meetings on this passage. I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. That whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on heart shall be loosed in heaven. We thank you for the authority of the believer, for the dominion you have given unto us, the power you have given unto us over principalities, over powers, over spiritual wickedness in high places, over the rulers of the darkness of this world, Father, we say thank you because in the place of prayer, that is where we can exercise this power and this dominion. That is where we can exercise this mystery that you have given unto us. That though we walk in the flesh, we can pull down strongholds of darkness because we do not war after the flesh. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we can cast down imaginations as we wrestle against principalities and powers. Father, we say thank you for what you're doing in our lives and for this privilege. Be exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. Especially I want to say thank you for everyone who listens to the meetings on YouTube, on Facebook, I want to say thank you for the transformation is bringing to their lives. You're bringing men victory. The word of God is going into the nations and for that we're grateful, O oh God. Father, we only ask that you will breathe upon these meetings and you will give it wings in the spirit. It will go forth beyond our imagination and lives will be transformed for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we will open this meeting in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We pray, O oh God, that you will breathe upon us, you will speak to us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh God, that every need that we have will be supplied in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I welcome you to tonight's meeting. It's such a joy to be in the presence of God. It's such a joy to be in the presence of God. And I pray that you will be blessed mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. The keys of the kingdom. We started the series on Monday with the topic, the release of spiritual keys. Yesterday night was the keys to health, deliverance from every infirmity, deliverance from infirmity. Is been uploaded on the channel already. Deliverance from infirmity. We looked at that yesterday. Today we are looking at the keys to abundance. The keys to abundance. That is what it will be the focus of tonight's prayer. And I pray that the Lord will visit you mightily. The Lord will be showing us deep mysteries from the word. And I'm, so, I'm, I'm sure your life will be transformed mightily 
at the end of tonight's meeting in the name of Jesus as our manaries we're going to spend the first few minutes praying on our anchor text Matthew chapter 16 verse 19 the word of God is powerful the word of God is mighty the word of God is our weapon and when we pray on that word using that word you can be sure to have results and when we are consistent in prayer we keep telling heaven that we mean business this is one thing i found that is the key to spiritual growth you're consistent you tell god today you tell god tomorrow you tell god next week you tell god next month you keep telling god until he is convinced that you are serious with your request until he is convinced that you mean business with him then you will find out that you will have result beyond what you can explain result because heaven is releasing unto you the full dose of what you asked for and that is why when we pick a passage we stay there and pray we're not just running out of skeleton. We're not just um, praying without focus. This is the focus of the meeting. Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. These was the words of Jesus. And I will give. He is the giver. Not me. I can give you nothing. But he said, I will give unto you the keys of of the kingdom of heaven it's only one who has been to heaven only one who has that key the key of the house of david upon his shoulder the keys of death and hell having descended to the lowest part of hell and led captivity captive the bible says and he gave gifts unto men divine giftings divine giftings he gave gifts unto men so he's the one that has the power the prerogative to say this and i will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth he then transfers the responsibility to you that when you have that key, if you sit idle, the key will be useless. When you have that key, if you don't do anything, the key will just be there as a, as a decoration. But when you have that key, it is now incumbent on you now to, to bind. That is the place of prayer. That is the place of the midnight travail. That whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Hallelujah. And whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Yesterday night we were looking at losing those who are bound over with the spirit of infirmity. Why will we pray that prayer? Yes, we can do so confidently because unto us is given the keys that whatsoever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. But if you bend over with infinity and you do not lose yourself and you do not decree over your life, you continue to remain bent over. The same thing is what we're looking at tonight. If you bend over with poverty, and you do not lose yourself from that spirit of poverty, the spirit of lack, the spirit of losses. If you do not lose yourself, you remain there. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. The prayer point is the same. 
this is the beginning of the meeting we have other things very deep mysteries we're going to be looking at today but can we start the prayer with this one lord i have come again <laughs> this is me before your throne again waiting to receive these keys kaparu shakodia release unto me the keys of the kingdom release on even beyond what this series can cover can you imagine how many keys there are but this series is just going to be considering five areas five areas five areas but there are more that is why we will come and pray this prayer at the beginning lord give unto me the keys of the kingdom give unto me i need to have access in my life i need to have access territorial access dominion i need to have the power to bind on that and to lose on that i need to have the dominion to decree a king and it shall be established that when i bind on heart it is bound in heaven and when i lose on heart it is loosed in heaven release unto me these keys release unto me these keys Marco Shatiakuza. release unto me these keys release unto me these keys in the name of jesus christ the lord just ministered unto me that there is someone listening to me your there is trouble in your home hmm. there is trouble in your home you find your husband is is um, is giving to promiscuity he hasn't he hasn't fully gone into adultery but is on the verge of doing so is being lured here and there you're trying everything to woo him but it seems not to be working can i say unto you what you need is spiritual authority spiritual authority to bind the activities of darkness in your home to bind the activities of darkness in your family to bind the pool of the devil the pool of darkness that want to bring trouble and reproach to your home what you need is the keys of the kingdom to set that man loose from the chains that are bound him to set him loose from the affliction upon his spirit that is why we are considering the meeting whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven can you cry unto god i am here O oh god for another meeting tonight release unto me the keys release unto me the keys release unto me the keys in the name of jesus christ release unto me the keys release unto me the keys the keys of the kingdom the keys of the kingdom release it unto me i may not know the full scope of what i'm asking but this is your word oh god release unto me the keys of the kingdom release unto me the keys of the kingdom release unto my family the keys of the kingdom release unto my children the keys of the kingdom release unto my ministry this ministry the keys of the kingdom that whatsoever will bind on earth is bound in heaven and whatsoever we lose on heart is loosed in heaven let there be the release of keys divine giftings divine giftings divine giftings in the name of jesus let it be let it be in the name of jesus and i will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven if the gates of hell is not going to prevail against us it must be that we have the keys of the kingdom if the gate
gates of hell is not going to overthrow the church. It must be that we have the keys of the kingdom. Can you pray for yourself? Can you pray for your church? Can you pray for this ministry? Believe us prayer meeting. Lord, release unto us the keys of the kingdom that the gates of hell might not prevail. That the gates of hell might not prevail. That the gates of hell will not prevail against us. In the name of Jesus, this is our weapon. This is our weapon that ensures our continuity. This is our weapon that ensures that we thrive in this present evil world. This is our weapon that ensures we don't go into extinction. This is our weapon that ensures that we continue to operate according to the purposes of God. The adversary is waging war against the church, but with the keys of the kingdom, the gates of hell will not prevail. He said, I say unto you that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. And immediately he says, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. We need these keys to be able to overcome the gates of hell. We need these keys to be able to bind the gates of hell that when we decree over darkness that the gates of darkness be shot over a territory the gates of hell be shot over a territory then it remains shot just like Elijah Elijah had the power to shut heaven Elijah had the power to shut heaven that there be no rain for three and a half years for three and a half years that man shut the gates of heaven and there was no rain mm. all so that the gates of hell would not prevail the altars of the living god were thrown down and the people were given to idolatry and sorcery and witchcraft by reason of hair by jezebel being in oppression oh that the church will pray more we can shut down the oppression of jezebel we can shut down the oppression of hair with the keys of the kingdom that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you lose on heart is loosed in heaven hallelujah to the lord god that is the first set the, the first batch of the prayer hmm. and tonight we're looking at the keys to abundance lord will be showing us something deep from the book of luke chapter 5 hmm. Luke chapter 5 I read verse 1 and it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's. It happened to be that this Simon is the one. Is the one always divinely positioned for the breakthrough. Remember, it was unto him that the Lord said, I see unto you that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I build my church, that the gates of hell and the gates of hell will not prevail against him. It's called divine positioning. May the Lord help you to be positioned for blessing. May the Lord help you to be positioned in the right place at the right time for transformation and breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ, I tell you the truth. These are things I've enjoyed in my life. Divine positioning. You just happen to be there. At the time when the need was. You supply the need. And you receive the blessing. And, and your life is forever changed. 
and all that who came afterwards have to go through rigor before they can even get peanuts but you just happen to be in the right place at the right time two sheep but the one he entered into was simon and he prayed him that he will thrust out a little from land and he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep now when he was done with his preaching when he had left speaking he said unto simon launch out into the deep and let down your net for a draught hmm. i'll come back to that and simon answering said unto him master we have toyed all night and there is no abundance in our life we have taken nothing the portals of heaven are open right now. That every emptiness that plagued your finances, every emptiness that plagued your resources, is about to change right now. It will no more be we have toyed all night and caught nothing from today onward you will begin to receive the abundance of the gentiles in the name of jesus christ hmm. it says we have toyed all night and caught nothing nevertheless at thy word i will let down the net and when they had this dawn they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break all of this miracle was received when they let down their net but that's not the focus of the meeting and looking at something here as we consider the key to abundance in verse 4 now when jesus had left speaking he said unto simon launch out into the deep and let down your net for a draught there is a mystery of the abundance but that abundance is locked up in the deep there is a mystery of abundance abundance but it is locked up not in shallow waters but in deep waters while i pondered on this meeting the law was making me to understand that if my people want to step into abundance they must be ready to do business in deep waters hmm. you must be ready to launch out into the deep one of the series we will be considering very soon will focus very much on this how you have to launch out you cannot remain in shallow waters and expect abundance to come no no it won't happen you cannot remain at the seashore and expect to catch a whale the whales don't come to the seashore no they, re they remain in the deep so if you want to you want to gather abundance you want the abundance of god you want the key to abundance you must be ready to do business in deep waters you must be ready to launch out into the deep that business you have been afraid to start you must be ready to start it that thing you have been afraid to do you you're you're always scared you're always scared and you keep incurring losses you have to be able to overcome your fears and launch out into the deep that is the word of the lord to you for then 
you will assess the abundance of the sea. Hmm. It is only then you will step into the realm where you will you you will have more than enough and you will have the net breaking miracle what can you catch at the seashore that will cause your net to break nothing maybe you gather stones at the seashore you have to leave the shallow waters and launch out into deep realms with god you have to leave the shallow waters of fear and uncertainty and, 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 and doubt and launch out into the deep with faith. Launch out into the deep in obedience to the word of the Lord. Launch out into the deep and watch God show up for you miraculously. That is the prayer tonight. Lord, I choose to launch into the deep. Mm. Enough of staying in shallow waters. I have remained in shallow waters, afraid of taking risk. I have remained in shallow waters, afraid of uncertainty. I have remained in shallow waters. And I have wondered why abundance have been elusive. I have remained in shallow waters. I couldn't even step out into the deep. Jesus has told me severally, launch out into the deep. Launch out into the deep. That is where the fishes are. Launch out into the deep. That is where your breakthrough is. Launch out into the deep. That is where the abundance is resident. Launch out into the deep. That is where your life will be transformed. But I have been so scared. Hmm. I have been so scared. I'm not able to launch forth. Lord God, at your work tonight, I receive the grace to launch forth into the deep. I receive the grace to launch forth into deep waters. I receive the power, the power to do business in deep waters, the power to take initiative and be proactive active the power to be ahead ahead of the in strategy business strategy i receive that grace i receive that power i receive that grace i receive that power in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ man of god how is your ministry going to grow when you are afraid of launching out into the deep you are afraid that if people see see me if people know me i will die untimely no way you can't die it's the lord that sent you to launch out it's the lord that called you into ministry therefore you need not be afraid it is the lord that called you and he's the one who will back you up he says i will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven how then will your ministry expand when you are not you're not happy to leave that village where you are that little hut that you are using as the place of worship that is not where the kings of nations is going to come and meet you that little tattered building that you are using as your residence of a uh, place of worship that is not where the king of glory will come and put his feet solomon built a temple and he built a palace that the queen of she had to come and worship and when she came she brought silver and gold she brought servant to come and observe if you are going to step into that realm you have to launch this is the word of the lord to you launch forth into the deep launch forth into the deep launch forth and do great things for god launch forth and do great things in your life in the name of jesus Jesus is the Lord speaking to someone tonight. Say, Lord, I receive the grace to launch forth. Hmm. 
I receive the grace to launch forth. I receive the power to launch forth. I am no more staying in shallow waters. I am no more staying in shallow waters. Shallow waters because I'm afraid. Shallow waters because I'm afraid. No, no. I am launching forth. Launching forth to greater realms with God. I am launching forth to deeper realms. To deeper realms. The place where the abundance lies. That is where I'm launching for. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Hmm. How will your business enter the next level of profit when you're not even ready to pay any price for marketing? Go and get a marketing director that will, that will rebrand your company and place it on the face of the world and then you will see the power of God drawing men. But I found believers are not ready to do that. We just trust that the grace of God will cover our lapses. The grace of God will cover our lack of excellence. The grace of God will just bring men like that and we wonder why we are not prosperous. Presentation, we don't have. Excellence, we don't have. Marketing, we don't have. Skills, we don't have. And then we say we have prayer. Faith without works is dead. The Lord is telling you to launch forth. You must be ready to do business in deep waters. You must acquire the power, the, the stamina to do business in deep waters. That is where you will have access to the abundance. I tell you this thing is a principle. Whether you are born again or not, for everyone that gets to deep waters, there is abundance that is locked up there. I don't know where Peter has been toiling all night, but maybe he didn't get to the deep. Because it, the Lord specifically told him, now launch forth into the deep. There is a location where you will have the next breaking miracle. It is called the deep. One of these days, if God wills, I will be showing you a mystery. <laughs> a mystery I stumbled upon in the spirit called international waters. International waters. It's a powerful one. Launch forth into the deep. So get that business up to standard. Get the required certification that you may be able to compete for contracts at a standard level. Get the required staff. If you need investors with a well-calculated risk that will not drown you, get investors. Get your business up to standard that you will be able to compete where the clients are, where the contracts are, where the resources are, where the fishes are. If you don't get there, the whale is not going to swim to the, to the seashore to come and jump into your net. No, it's not going to happen. You have to launch forth into the deep. There are other players in the deep. There are other fishermen in the deep. And they are there catching fishes. The abundance you seek, you need to step out of that comfort zone and launch forth. That is the mystery of this key. The key is to abundance. Man of God, stop complaining. Stop complaining. Don't say no, nobody is coming, we just remain unknown and you're getting angry. You've been 10 years in ministry, you're still small, you're getting angry. 
20 years in ministry nobody recognizes you you're getting angry because you saw a little boy who just started and then is grown and then you say how are these people doing it all these people that have gone and dabbled into occultism come on not everybody did and into occultism we launched forth in the deep that is where you get the souls launch forth man of god god is no respecter of person as soon as you obey the command abundance comes to you and can i say this the ocean is so big that everybody can have abundance let me say that again the ocean of god's resources is so big is so deep that everyone if everyone on the face of the earth will obey this command everyone i say to you can have can have abundance yeah yeah everyone can have abundance receive grace to launch forth hmm. grace to launch forth so we will be looking tonight at the abundance of the sea turn with me to deuteronomy chapter 33 deuteronomy chapter 33 i read verse 19 supposing you have prayed and you're willing to launch forth into the deep now let us begin the prayer deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 19 they shall call the people unto the mountains there they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of the treasures hid in the sand this is the prayer tonight kalabrako shatiasita it is time for me to suck of the abundance of the seas. Oh my God. The abundance locked up in the city where I dwell. Your land is the land of gold. And you're struggling with pennies. Your land is the land full of resources millions and billions and trillions of dollars is traded on a daily basis where you dwell and your dear is crunching for peanuts and leftovers it is time oh god for me to suck of their parashatia the angel of the lord for this operation is here right now it is time for me to soak off the abundance of the seas. Let it be released unto me right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be released. The abundance of the deep. The abundance of the seas. Lord, I want to soak up the abundance the abundance that is locked up in the deep the abundance that is locked up in the seas let it be released unto me this is the key that the lord is releasing unto you the bible says they shall soak up the abundance of the seas let there be the release of god let there be the release of god of the abundance of the seas unto me let there be the release of god of the abundance of the ocean the abundance of the waters let it be released unto me let it be released unto me in the name of jesus no more losses no more lack no more penury in the name of jesus no more losses no more lack no more penury 
penury, no more empty wallet, no more empty person, no more empty account. In the name of Jesus, let the abundance of the seas be released unto me. Let the abundance of the seas be released unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Open your mouth and cry unto God. Lord, let there be the release. Let there be the release. This is the keys to abundance. The abundance of the seas. In the place of the deep. That is where you catch the multitude of fishes. The abundance of the deep. Let them be converted unto me. The same way they were converted to the nets of Peter. The same way Peter received the nets breaking miracle lord let me step into that realm let me step into that dimension in the name of jesus christ the abundance of the seas let it be converted unto me the abundance of the seas let it be converted unto me in the name of jesus christ let it be converted unto me in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I quickly say this? The Lord wants us to quickly pray this prayer. I will come back to this one. One of the key things that has affected many people, and the Lord was revealing this to me as I pondered on the meeting, is the oppressions of the devourers. And the Lord showed me two animals in the spirit. The first one is a dog. And the second one is a serpent. You see, these two animals have devoured the resources of the people. It's not literal. So don't, don't look at your pet and hate your pet. I'm not talking about your pet. No. If you have a dog as a pet, if you have a snake as a pet, that's not what I'm talking about. But in the realm of the spirit, it says these two animals. The Bible says, for without are the dogs. And for the serpent, he says, he has swallowed up riches. God shall cast it out of his belly. He shall vomit them. These two animals has devoured the resources of the people, has devoured the, the strength, the, the finances, the food. So two things that were devoured, I'll show you. The food and the jewels. The serpent swallowed the jewels, the dog had the food. Hmm. What a deep mystery. What a deep mystery. Every devourer that has devoured your strength, devoured your food, eating that which belongs to you. You have your plate served with your food you want to eat. And before you came there to eat, the dog has eaten it. What sort of nonsense is that? You have precious jewels that have been swallowed up by the serpent. I don't care, I don't know what this represents to you and what it means to you. But that is what was revealed unto me in the spirit. And we need to pray that the oppression of the devourer over your life, the oppression of the devourer over your territory, over your resources, might come to an end. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and tell the Lord, the Lord says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. I will rebuke the devourer for your sake Lord let the oppressions of the devourer let it cease for my life in the name of Jesus Christ let the oppressions of the devourer let it cease for my destiny let it cease for my family you keep spending your money on bills that is the oppression of the devourer just as you gather the savings then a tragedy strikes and 
then all the money is gone just as you gather the money again then there is sickness and all the money is gone just as you are about to be promoted you have taken a loan and you have made projections that with my company when i get to this level in this company then i will uh, this will be my salary and i think i will be able to fund this project you've taken money from cooperative you've taken money from loan um, a, a loan from the company suddenly the, the job is gone that is the oppression of the devourer and you are in you you are in a great mess because you did not foresee this event that is the oppression of the devourer he says i will rebuke the devourer for your sake lord every devourer devouring my resources devouring my blessings devouring my food devouring the jewels that you have given unto me lord god almighty let the devourer be destroyed rebuke them O oh god for my sake rebuke the oppression of the devourer in my life i rebuke the oppression of the devourer in my finances i rebuke the oppression of the devourer in my territory i rebuke the oppression of the devourer in this ministry i rebuke the oppression of the devourer in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you devourer devouring my resources devouring that which the lord has given unto me your hand has come in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i rebuke the oppression of the devourer over your life everything the serpent has swallowed that belongs to you i command it to vomit it right now vomit it right now precious stones precious jewels finances swallowed up by the serpent vomit them right now in the name of jesus christ god will cast it out of his belly God will cast it out of his belly. The oppression of the dog that's eating up with that which belongs to you. No way. You cannot continue with this oppression. Vomit it right now and let these animals, let them be destroyed from your life. Let them be destroyed from your finances. Let them be destroyed from your family. In the name of Jesus, your company is a about to go bankrupt because of the oppression of these two beasts eating up your resources eating up your opportunities eating up the progress they are stealing from you gradually so that you will go down but the lord is exposing them tonight the lord is exposing them tonight they will be fished out and destroyed in the name of jesus christ mm in the name of jesus the oppressions of the devourer hmm, i repeat the oppressions of the devourer let them be terminated in the name of jesus christ we go back to our prayer they shall suck of the abundance of the seas when you take away the oppressions of the devourer then the abundance that comes to you will benefit you when you take away the oppressions of the devourer then you will be able to use that abundance abundance to to, to to better the life of other people lord it is time for me to soak of the abundance the treasures hid in the sand the abundance of the seas the abundance of the ocean the abundance of the seas the abundance of the deep lord let me benefit of him let it flow into my life let it flow into my life in the name of jesus christ let it flow into my life in the name of jesus christ let it flow into my life the blessings of the sea the abundance of the sea i soak of this abundance i soak of this abundance in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we pray let's back up a little bit to verse 13 in that deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 13 and of joseph he said blessed of the lord be his land i want you to pay attention 
for the precious things of heaven, for the dew, and for the deep, the couched beneath. So there are precious things in the deep, the couched beneath. Was that the mystery that Jesus Christ was saying to Peter? You want to have a net breaking miracle. You have to launch forth into the deep. There is the mystery of the deep. Can I quickly announce to you, there are creatures in the deep. That if you haven't got stamina, they can swallow you up. But when you know the God that sent you, those creatures will look at you. I know what I'm talking about. They will look at you and their mouths will be shut. The Bible says the Leviathan will make supplications unto you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you will pierce his jaw with a thorn and you will draw him out with a hook that you put in his nostrils. Those are the creatures in the deep that make the deep as a seeding pot. And by their sneezings, the fire goes forth. When you have the power and the authority to operate in the deep, the mystery called international waters, then you know that the creatures in the deep become subject unto you. And then by that command, they are converted unto you because you will suck of the abundance of the seas. This is a great mystery. We cannot wrap it up everything tonight. But he says the deep, the precious things that couch it in the deep. That is why when we're praying, Lord, release unto me this abundance. If you look at Isaiah chapter 60, Isaiah chapter 60, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 60, very quickly as we prepare to wrap up. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 5 Then thou shalt see and flow together and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto you. Hallelujah. Did I get an amen there? The abundance of the sea shall be converted unto me. Can someone say that over your life? The abundance of the sea shall be converted unto me. The abundance of the sea shall be converted unto me. Hmm. And the forces of the Gentiles shall come unto me. Lord God Almighty, this is the key to the abundance my soul has been seeking for. The abundance of the deep, the abundance of the sea, cause it to be converted unto me. Hmm. When we looked at the Genesis chapter 1 prayer series, we saw that the, the seas, the creatures of the seas, was the, was the first that the Lord blessed, that they should be fruitful and multiply. The Bible says that they should bring forth abundantly. The sea has the mystery called abundance. And the Lord is saying that abundance is converted unto you. That abundance is converted unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you stretch forth your hands? And unto me here as I decree over your life. Father, I decree over your people tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the abundance of the sea, let it be converted unto them. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more lack, no more losses, no more penury, no more empty pauses, no more empty accounts. Let the abundance of the sea be be converted unto you. Let the 
abundance of the sea, be converted unto you, begin to suck of the abundance of the seas. In the name of Jesus, let men begin to bring treasures unto you. Let men begin to bring resources unto you. Let men begin to bring breakthroughs unto you. Let opportunities that you have lost, let them come back to you again. In the name of Jesus, the precious things of the deep that couched beneath, the precious things of the deep that couched beneath, let them be released upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them be released upon your family. Let them be released upon the works of your hand. As I lay my hands upon your hands and I decree they are blessed in the name of Jesus. The oppression of the devourer is destroyed from your life. The oppression of the devourer is destroyed from your family. In the name of Jesus, that your sick daughter, Calibra Sodia Tija Timatuza. I speak healing to a body, Calibra Shakudia Casadia. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak healing to that daughter of yours. She will not die. That blood problem, Parasiku Shaliadosia de I command there to be healing. Let the hand of the Lord touch her right now. She's pale and fidgety. She's pale and not able to stand. I command healing upon her. Receive strength right now receive your healing receive your healing the powers in the realm of the spirit that join your soul nigh unto death i cut off that rope and i command them to be destroyed in the name of jesus christ bounce back to life in the name of jesus christ hmm. i'll show you one final mystery as we wrap up Turn with me to Matthew chapter 25. Hmm. When I found this, oh, my spirit leaped for joy. Matthew chapter 25, verse 29. What oh, a deep mystery. For unto everyone that art shall be given and he shall have abundance let me say that again let me read that again <laughs> these are the words of jesus powerful words for unto everyone that has it shall be given divine giftings and he shall have abundance <laughs> but from him that has not shall be taken away even that which he had I back up to verse 28 take therefore the talent from him and give unto him that has ten talents this is the mystery why the rich keep getting richer why the talented they utilize their talent keep getting more talented so your ministry is not growing and rather than remain where it was it, it goes down <laughs> but another ministry is growing and rather than grow at the same trajectory it grows exponentially there is a mystery to it for unto everyone that has that trades with his talent, that puts his talent to use, more will be given. So when I'm telling you to launch forth into the deep, it is so that more can be given unto you. You may be listening to me and say, well, I'm not poor. I didn't say you're poor. <laughs> but there is more. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is more. There is more. For unto everyone that has. So you see someone who just gave his life to Jesus. Born again. Born in for God. 
very quickly his life is sanctified he has the spiritual gift he's going fast and fast and growing and growing and the other people who have, who have been church goers for 30 years they find out that they can do exploits they find out that they have become rigid he was a minister of God I think A.W. Toza he said we get born again and very quickly we are sure that we are God's chosen people and not before long we are sure that we are God's frozen people we become frozen just after we become chosen because there is no growth we are stuck at that same level what new thing has come into your life this year can i sound the alarm to you for unto everyone that has shall be given <laughs> and he shall have abundance this is the key to sustain the abundance i show you a mystery tonight this is the key to the abundance that never fails that when god gives you you trade with it you use the talent and more will be given to you but if you bury that talent wrap it in a napkin like that servant and bury it even that talent will be taken away i pray that will not be your portion i pray over you tonight that the talent the lord has given to you you will put it into use and abundance will be added you will have abundance you will have abundance in the name of jesus this ministry believers prayer meeting will grow forth into a multitude will grow forth exponentially the hand of the lord will be upon the meetings the blessings of god will be upon the meetings the favor of god will be upon the meetings the the breakthrough of the spirit will come upon the meetings in the name of Jesus and as you fellowship with us that blessing will flow into your life that blessing will flow into your children that blessing will flow into your career that blessing will flow into your family in the name of Jesus hallelujah to the Lord God I love you all have a good night rest we will continue tomorrow by the mercies of God amen <music>